Hi guys, this is Caroline from Studio Soraya Pilates in Montreal, Canada. Um, today we're going to do just a short little workout. Uh, I've had a lot of requests for exercises to strengthen our back, which in turn helps to improve our posture. So I'm going to call this video Back Care. We're going to start on all fours in what we call a quadruped position. If you've got issues with your wrists, you can always make a fist with each hand. That's always a nice option to do. So I, myself, I'm going to spread my fingers wide. I'm going to keep my hands under my shoulders, my knees under my hips, and I'm going to start with a cat stretch. So on the exhale, I'm going to tilt my pelvis and I'm going to round my spine, looking towards my belly button. Inhale, I'm lifting my head, I'm opening my chest. It's not just about sticking the bum out, it's actually about getting movement in the upper back. Exhale, curve. So, I get a lot of clients who suffer from back pain. People sit a lot, they become very stiff. This is just a really nice way to stretch the back, to mobilize the spine. You can do this throughout your day. You can do this before you go to bed at night. You can do this in the morning when you wake up. How many reps? You can work up to 10. I'm going to do about 5 right now and straight ahead. Okay, from this position, I'm going another great stretch for the back is the child's pose. Or in Pilates, we call it shell. Bring the big toes together, knees are wide, stretch my arms, and I'm gonna to try to bring my weight towards my heels. This is a beautiful way to stretch the back. See if you can rest your forehead down. So, first stretch we did was the cat, we call it the cat cow. This one is called the child's pose or shell. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you about three exercises to strengthen your back. So we're gonna lie on our stomachs. I suggest for anyone who has issues with their lower back, place a towel underneath your stomach just to support. Okay, so let's lie on our stomach. I'm going to start with something called a prone extension. So I'm going to bring my arms. I also call it cactus if, this, if the image makes more sense. I'm going to keep my hands just above my shoulders. My elbows are down and I'm resting my forehead. Now, you can separate your legs a little bit. And I want you to see if you can anchor your pubic bone into the ground. Okay. Now, no matter what position you're in, you always want to be aware of engaging your core muscles. I'm going to slide my shoulder blades down my back. If that doesn't make sense, think of almost trying to reach your elbows towards your heels. Using my arms, I'm going to lift my upper back. So I'm lifting, and I can look right to the front of the mat with my head, so I'm not shortening my neck. I'm still trying to keep my neck long. And then I go all the way back. Now make sure you're engaging your core as you lift and then I come back remember now I'm going to add a little thing so elbows reach towards the heels and I'm going to slightly retract and try to bring my shoulder blades towards each other not squeezing them but almost imagine like I'm holding a walnut between my shoulder blades and then come all back down one more you can work up to 10 repetitions. I'd say minimum, try to do at least four to five. Okay, next part. So we did the, um, we did the cactus. Next, we're gonna do the pre-swimming. I'm gonna take my arms in front of me. I'm actually gonna move back a little bit more. My arms can be a little bit about the width of my shoulders. If I'm really having discomfort in my shoulders, you can also bend your arms, that's an option. Okay, so again, keep that pubic bone down. I'm going to stretch one leg, and I'm going to lift my leg off the ground. And then I'm going to lift the other leg. So you can start just with the lower body first. See how that feels. Okay, now I can go with my arms. One arm, other arm. Okay, then I can do opposite arm, opposite leg. Then I can add both arms, both legs together. So, I'm going to actually work into the full swimming to show you, but you can stick to pre-swimming. You're going to lift everything up. Remember your gaze, you want to look at the front of the mat. Now, I'm going to lengthen my legs, but I need my abs to support me. I'm going to lift my arms. I'm going to go swimming. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Three inhales, guys. Three exhales. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Rest all the way down. Hands by your chest. Pick yourself up. Child's pose. We have just enough time for one more exercise. Okay, so let's go back into quadruped where we were before. I'm gonna, I want to give you the option of you can do this down onto your elbows if this feels better. So find that neutral position. Exhale. I'm going to extend. First modification, I'm going to slide my toes and my fingers along the mat. I'm just going to move forward a little bit more. And then I'm just going to slide. Now this is a nice modification for people, for example, who struggle with their balance, who aren't yet very strong in their core. Now, from here, you build up opposite arm, opposite leg. Now, I always tell my clients, it's not about how high you go. It's more of length, reaching through the toes, reaching through the fingertips. So this is a great way to strengthen pretty much everything. And then come back. We can do about one more each side. Extend. And one more time, extend. And release. And you all deserved to go into shell stretch or child's pose. Good. You can just relax. You can even keep your arms by your side if you prefer. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me for this back care workout. And my name is Caroline and owner of uh, Studio Survival Pilates in Montreal, Canada. Take care.